Hello everyone, this is Anju and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY decor. This is going to be part one of my spring decor video. So I'll be posting more videos the coming week. So please do watch them for a complete DIY spring decor ideas. the other day and I picked up a bunch of these glass vases see uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes and, and I want to use this as part of my spring decor and also I have these you know small jars uh, which I've been saving from my pickles and jams so you know I will be using these as well I want to give all these babies a little makeover and I'll show you how to do it in five different ways so let's get started so before you start your project, please make sure you clean all your jars and vases from any grease. So for the first one, uh, I am going to simply wrap some yarn around the jar. I am going to start at the top and secure your yarn in place by adding some hot glue from time to time. And keep working your way to the bottom. And once you get to the bottom there, you can snip the yarn and secure the end with some more hot glue. So now your jar is ready. I'm putting some embellishments here. I'm using an elastic cord and um, also finish it off with a paper flower. So for the next one, I am using some washi tapes. This project is so simple, you can't go wrong with this one. So all you need to do is to just wrap some washi tape around the jar and add some embellishments. So for my third project, I am going to cut a sheet of paper from my favorite coloring book and simply insert it to the jar. And also I want to create a chalkboard label for this jar, so I am going to take some washi tapes and tape on four sides to make kind of a, a square space. Now you apply your chalkboard paint and let it dry. So once you uh, once it's dry, you can apply one more coat and let it dry. So once completely dry, you may simply want to peel off the tape and your jar is ready. So for the next one, I am going to use a glossy acrylic paint and. What you want to do is simply pour some of the paint into your jar and keep moving your jar in a circular motion, um, you know, so that your the inside of the jar gets coated with paint. And you may pour the excess paint back into the paint container, and you know you can place your jar upside down on a cardboard or a wax paper, something like that, and you know let it dry overnight. So the jar is dry now, uh, so here I'm using some burlap ribbon and a paper flower as my embellishment. So for the final one, I'm going to do a gold polka dot design using some gold paint. Um, I used a painting brush for this project but you may use anything with a flat round surface to get nice dots. You can do any designs you want. Uh, and once my paint was dry, I had to redo some of the dots using uh, the back of the pencil for a more finished look. These DIYs are really easy to make and I hope you will try this out. 